the killer Alabama tornadoes. I will never forget the day of Monday, April 1st, 2019. It was 3.49 p.m. and I was at a new rental house that my parents bought for a week. Dad turned on the TV to see the weather and I got ready for a new day at the rental house. Suddenly, my dad shrieked randomly while he was watching the Daily Weather Channel on KTLA 5. We have to leave the house immediately, my dad yelled. I felt a little uneasy and curious about why we had to leave the house. Why, my mom asked curiously. What's wrong? There's going to be a tornado near the area, my dad shrieked. When my family heard that, they were zooming through the halls. I could hear tons of crashes and booms in the rooms. In 30 minutes, my family was ready to leave, but it seemed too late. You could hear doors shutting, pictures falling, cars beeping, houses crumbling, buildings collapsing, people roaring for help, and glass shattering. Because of all this noise, we rushed to the car. We flashed through the streets to get to the airport. All of a sudden, we were going backwards for some reason. My dad wasn't in reverse mode. My sister looked backwards and screamed, Tornado! Dad pushed on the accelerator, trying to move the car away from the tornado, but there was too much power to fight against. We kept on trying to escape with all the power we had until we used too much energy and we ran empty on gas. We were sucked into the tornado. Once we were all sucked in, we were spinning over 100 miles per hour. It was hard to breathe. I tried taking deep breaths to keep myself alive, but I couldn't keep on going. I closed my eyes and went to sleep. When I opened my eyes, I found us driving and the tornado was far behind us. What happened, I asked. While we were in the the tornado, a rescue team came in to save us. We were taken to the hospital, and when the three of us woke up, we decided to leave Alabama and go back home, my dad explained. Finally, we got, we made it to the airport, and we got to our plane back to Los Angeles. When we were back home, we saw the news to see what happened. 39 tornadoes were reported that day. Dozens of people were hospitalized. 23 people were killed, including three children. Most of the tornadoes were EF5 tornadoes. Over 1,000 homes and businesses were destroyed. On June 10, 2019, $1,274,675 dollars and 26 cents were approved to fix the destroyed homes we were all relevant we were alive we all got in bed and had a good rest i am so happy to be back home where i belong again and that is what happened monday april 1st 2019